we start looking west, flying from Junction 10 of the M25, the northbound carriageway at the top, and southbound nearest the camera. The foundations for the widened slip road are being laid. This will allow the jet lane from the M25 clockwise to be free-flowing when finished. One of the many new signage gantries being installed to help drivers get in the right lane, approaching the junction. To ensure line of sight of the drone, I moved takeoff location. We are still facing west in this view, just past Old Lane. The environmental protection barrier is in Boldermere Lake in preparation for piling works to allow the A3 to be widened southbound. At the top of the screen, you can see the extra lane being constructed on the northbound carriageway. Once finished, a 312 contraflow will be installed. We approach the new Wisley Lane Bridge, which as far as this takeoff spot will allow me to go. At a new location, this is the first footage I have captured of the section from Wisley Lane to the Ockham Park roundabout. You can see foundations in place at the bottom of the screen for the new signage which will direct drivers to RHS Wisley and northbound traffic on the A3. The off-slip road at Ockham Park is now visible. This will be widened when the work is finished to allow direct access to the new Wisley Lane. Ockham Park Roundabout, showing the new Wisley Lane and where the widening will be. We now fly alongside the A3 North. The new Wisley Lane can be seen on the right of the video. The new Wisley Lane Bridge. Just past Wisley Lane Bridge, we continue to fly north alongside the A3 with Wisley Common to the left. Boldermere Lake comes back into view on the right of the A3. Just past Cockrow Bridge, we complete the trip heading back to Junction 10 of the M25.